Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to WordPress Lesson 11 and in this video we're going to talk about the permalink structure in WordPress and how we can change it. Okay then guys, so basically the permalink structure means the structure of your URLs which you can see right here. The local host is just the root URL and that could be like yourdomain.com forward slash this stuff right here. Okay, so currently you can see this hello world post has a permalink of the year, then the month, then the title of the post, right? Now, personally, I don't like this stuff right here, this year and month, because I deem it unnecessary. It doesn't need to be there, okay? For me, I prefer my URLs to look a bit more like that, where it's just a post name or the page name. Now, we can control this in WordPress. So, from the back end, what you want to do is go to settings and then permalinks. And this is where we can change the permalink structure. So currently you can see by default it's set to month and name, which is what we saw in the post, the year, the month, and then the post name. Now yours might be set to something else by default. It might be this one up here. Uh, you can set it to whatever you want. I'm gonna set it to this one right here, post name, which is just the base URL and then the post name. Now, the reason I don't like this one is because it means absolutely nothing. We've got 123, which is the page ID or the post ID. Um, and if I was going to that URL, if someone gave me that link, I wouldn't know what was on the page and it wouldn't entice me to click on it, right? So that's the reason I don't like that. Whoops, today's in. My mouse just dropped on the floor. All right. So this one here, day and name, you can have that if you like. Again, I'm not a fan of these numbers here. I don't deem them necessary. Don't like this thing here. Uh, this archives, one, two, three, again, meaningless, doesn't mean anything to me. If I'm going to go and read a post about a cherry pie, then this doesn't tell me that, does it? Right? You want it to be forward slash cherry pie or something like that. So that is what I want, this sample post thing right here, just a post name. So I'm going to click save changes. And then if I click on hello world again, you're going to get an error, right? And that is because we've not enabled so far in this tutorial series the rewrite module in Apache. So to do that, you want to go to there, start your WAMP server, go to Apache, Apache modules, and you want to click this little arrow at the bottom to scroll right down to where it says the rewrite module. So that there should have a little tick next to it. So if it's not, give it a click. And then once we refresh this, it will enable us to use this new permalink structure, this rewrite. Okay, so let's go to Hello World again. And this time it works. Yeah, you can see the URL right there. All right, so that is how we change the permalinks, guys. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.